Hey, Adrian. I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes to see if anybody wants to jump on before I get started. Hi, Kaylin. Miss you. So do you, Kaylin. Adrian, how's it going? I miss you too. Tell, tell Maria I said hi. And the kids. I'm gonna wait just a couple more minutes. for Rosie the robot. Well, I think it's noon. So I hear the, the bells, the church bells ringing. So my, my watch is a little bit slow. Okay. I'm gonna get started. We can share this later. So this is my regular power yoga class, like what I would normally teach when I'm at the Y. And I'm gonna to try to go for 45 minutes-ish. I am really terrible about stopping right at 45 minutes, even at the Y. It's usually around 50-ish so minutes. But the great thing about my class is you can totally modify it, and I'll try to show you all the ways you can modify as much as I can. Um, but keep in mind it is power yoga. It's not gonna be super hard, but we're gonna work the core, we're gonna do some twists, we're gonna do some balance stuff. Um, mostly standing poses, um, but always uh, hip openers, always put those in there. Uh, twists for sure, it's back bends. Try to make it like a well-rounded class as much as I can. And we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm not gonna mirror, because I will totally screw that up. I will say right leg, left leg. If it looks weird on the screen, just I'm gonna try to to describe everything as best I can so you don't have to look at the screen so much. I'm gonna try that, try really hard, but I'm, I'm super nervous. I've done this on my Facebook page, but not for the why. So I'm gonna get started, guys. And we might have some doggies coming in and out. Sorry about that. Okay. So let's come up to the top of our mat and let's, let's stand in mountain pose. So bring your feet where they're right under your hips. And I want you to take your big toe, spread your toes out first. Take your big toes down, then your baby toes down and all the rest of your toes and then all four points of your feet firmly planted down into the mat. And then take your shoulders and draw them back and down and open the palms, roll the thumbs back. Take the shoulders, stack them over the hips, hips stack over the knees, and knees stacked over the ankles. And let's gaze forward. And I want you to take a nice deep breath through the nose. And on the exhale, out through the nose. Inhaling through the nose. and exhaling. So it's a very audible breath. When you inhale, you let the belly expand as well as the chest. And then on the exhale, it's like you're whispering the word ha, but with your lips closed. And that's called the ujjayi breath. 
So we do all the breath through the nose. Let's take another deep breath in. Exhale, good. Now step the legs together and take a nice deep breath in here. Gazing up, hands come together. And then on the exhale here, we're gonna swan dive, hinge from the hips and bow. Relax the head down. On the inhale, we're gonna come into a halfway lift, draw the shoulders back. Back is flat. Exhale, we're gonna bow here. Root through the feet and rise up. On the exhale, bring the hands together at your heart in Samastahiti. Inhale, take the arms up again. Now, gaze forward here. And then on the exhale, we're gonna twist over to the right. Spread the arms out. Inhale, come back to center. On the exhale, twist left. Inhale, center here. Gazing up. On the exhale, we're gonna swan dive, hinge from the hips and bow. Relax the head down. On the inhale, come into a halfway lift, draw the shoulders back away from the neck. Exhale, let's go right into plank position. Hands are right under the shoulders. Spread the fingers out. Push the mat away from you. Puff up the upper back and tone the legs. On the inhale, come forward. And then on the exhale, lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Keep the hands where they are. Toenails on the floor. Draw your shoulders back. On the inhale, come into a little baby cobra. Just a little one to start out with. Hold it here. And then on the exhale, turn the toes under and exhale to downward facing dog. Relax the head down. So your hands are about shoulder width apart. Gaze at your hands. Your fingers should look like starfish on the beach, your hands. Spread your fingers out. Relax the head down and push your butt bones back. And your feet should be about hip width apart. Flatten the palms out. Maybe spin the triceps in towards each other. And let's come up and down on the toes. Warming up the ankles and the feet. Alternate bending your knees. Walk the dog out. And then I want you to spin your toes to the left. Lay your heels on the floor and lift the left arm up here. Real fast, let's switch. We're gonna spin the toes to the right and the right arm goes up. Coming back, yes. Take the toes and the heels together. This is optional, lift the right leg to the sky. Three-legged dog, roll your ankle around. Squeeze the core in tight. On the exhale, take it the other way. Beautiful, now let's work the core. On the inhale, bring the nose, the, the knee in towards the nose, round the back. Exhale, take it to the sky. And then twist it over to the left wrist or forearm and come back. Take it back to the center, round the back, yep. And then over to the right, tap the uh, forearm or the wrist, come back. Now do it twice to the center. Really crunch it in to work that core. One more, hold it here, hold it. And then step the right leg through the hands. If you need to grab your foot and pull it through, that's, that's fine. Turn the back foot flat. Now I want you to pigeon toe the back foot, line your heels up, press down through the feet and rise for Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. So the arms go straight up. The back leg is straight here. So I want you to press to the outer edge of the back foot and let that energy come all the way up to your back butt cheek here. And let's take the arms together for Charlie's Angels Mudra, gaze up. Nice deep breaths. And then cactus the arms here, open the chest, gazing up, a little back bend. And then clasp the hands behind you, knuckles down, inhale, gaze up. Press down through the floor, and on the exhale, bow for humble warrior. 
Your right shoulder is on the inside of the right thigh. Yeah, nice deep breaths. Now, straighten the front leg. Keep the head relaxed down. Nice deep breaths. Relaxing the face. And then take the hands to the floor. One hand on either side of your front foot. And relax the head down towards the knee. Now try to keep the back heel down. And we're going to bring the right arm up in a twist. Re a revolved triangle pose. Pulling up through the core and twisting over to the right. Good. Now we'll come back here. Relax the head down. Soften the front leg. And we're going to take that back leg forward and we're going to cross it behind that front leg and relax the head down. Now press down through the floor and rise up here, gazing up. Yeah. Now, Grab your right wrist with your left arm and pull it over to the left. Kind of lean your right hip over to the right. Good. And come back. And then on the exhale, we're going to bow. Let the head relax down. Now, let's shift the weight onto the right foot and float the left leg up for standing splits. Relax your head down. And maybe you could grab your ankle with the right hand. Look at the floor for this. And or maybe your left hand. But you've got to squeeze your core in tight and that Leg in the air needs to be nice and strong. Now, from here, we're going to rise to a warrior three, but you're going to jet your arms out to your side. Rise. Jet your arms. Flex your foot downward. Hold for a warrior three with jet arms. Pull the navel in tight. Now take the arm straight out to the side, Flamingo, and soften that supporting leg for skater pose. Hold, maybe bend it quite a bit, like you're in a one-legged lunge, and then maybe straighten it, and <laughs> bend. Straighten, bend. It's okay if you fall, it's your reaction to your fall that matters. Hold it, hold it. Now, set the back foot down, and let's go into warrior two. So you're about three and a half to four feet apart. Your front heel is in line with your back arch. Your arms are at your side. Open the arms. Check the front knee. It, it shouldn't be going this way. It needs to be going, leaning more towards your baby toe to get that hip open, because this is a hip opener, inner hip opener. Relax the shoulders. Use your feet. I think I'm a little far apart here. And then on the exhale, sink the hips if you want a little bit more. Breathe. Right palm spins up, tilt back. Peaceful warrior. Maybe you can stretch that left arm straight back if you'd like. Good, coming up slow, back to warrior two. And on the exhale, let's prop the right elbow and take the left arm over the ear and reach. Your right butt cheek is under you. Spin the belly up towards the sky. And maybe extend the right arm out, hold, hold. So now you're using your core here. If you need to, come back. 
You're using your core to hold you up. And then float the right fingertips down, side angle pose, extended side angle. Uh, you're going to get the right butt cheek under you and spin the belly up towards the sky. Breathe. Good. Now take the left fingertips down next to your arch. The right arm goes up in a twist. Keep the back heel down. Twisted side angle pose. And then lift the left arm up as you gaze at the right arm. Revolved Warrior Two. Windmill the arms up and back, back to Warrior Two. Straighten the front leg, please. Now I want you to really press down through the floor and bring that energy up your legs. Your feet are the roots of this pose. So make sure you're using your feet. Reach it forward as far as you can. And on the exhale, take preparation for triangle. You can grab your leg or ankle or open your palm and use your core to hold you up. The left arm goes straight up and down. Your right butt cheek is under you. And you're, you're taking your head in line with your spine and then take the arm over your ear, extended triangle pose. And then maybe float the right arm up, just like we did a while ago. Use your core. If you've got a weak low back, keep your hand here. This is a lot on the back, but if you pull the core in, that's going to help. Inhale, coming up slow. Exhale, back to warrior two. Take the left hand on the hip, preparation for half moon pose. You're going to look at the floor, maybe creep the back foot in a little bit. Take the right fingertips about six inches from your baby toe. I like to make it where it's right under my hand, my, or my, my hand is under my shoulder, I mean. So flex your foot towards the left. Belly button pulls in, you're trying to stack your hips, float your left arm up for half moon pose, hold it. Now there's a couple of ways, if you've been practicing, if you wanna do something different, you can bring your right hand to your heart, poet's pose, right hand and grab your ankle, or Soften the supporting leg, reach back and grab your left foot for sweet pose. Some people call this sugar cane pose. Hold. And then extend that leg out, belly buttons in, and on the exhale, come back to warrior two. And then we'll spin the hands to the floor and go right into plank position. Inhale, float forward. On the exhale, you can either come to the floor or come into low push-up, chaturanga. 90 degrees or more with the elbows. Turn the toes under, exhale into a little higher cobra or an up dog. But draw the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog. Relax the head down. Maybe see if you can get your heels down on the floor. Maybe walk your feet in a little bit and see if your heels come down. Here we go. Bring the toes and the heels together. Lift the right leg. I mean, excuse me, <laughs> left leg. Roll the ankle around and take it the other direction. Hold the belly button in. Inhale, round the back, bring that knee in towards the nose. Exhale, take it to the sky. Inhale, take it to the right wrist or elbow. Sky, center. Sky, to the left. Sky, now take it two to the center. One more. Yeah, hold it, hold it. Left leg through, back foot, bring it in about three and a half, three to three and a half feet apart. Line your heels up, pigeon toe the back foot, and rise up here, warrior one. Hands come together, Charlie's Angels Mudra. If this is too much, just leave your arms open, gazing up here. 
Good. Cactus the arms. Open the chest. And then take the hands, clasp them behind, inhale, gaze up. On the exhale, bow. Humble warrior. Relax the head and breathe. Straighten the front leg. Relax over that front leg. And then take your hands to the floor. Pyramid pose, relax the head down. And then take the left arm up in a twist, keep that back heel down. Twisted triangle. Good, now we'll come back, relax the head down. Soften that front leg and take the back leg, cross it behind the front leg. Now, press down, all right, well, relax the head down. And get a nice stretch there. And the back of the right leg. Now, press down through both feet and rise. Beautiful. Now grab the left wrist, pull it over to the right. Coming back. Gaze up here, exhale, bow. Now take that right leg and shoot it behind you for standing splits. And you can grab your ankle with one or both hands. And we're going to rise to warrior three, jet the arms. Find that focal point, pull in nice and tight through the core. Now, take the arms out to the side and bend that supporting leg, hold. Beautiful. Now straighten and bend. And straighten and bend. Straight, bend, straight, hold. And we're gonna take that back leg down for warrior two. Your front heel is in line with your back arch. You're about four, three and a half to four feet apart. Open the arms here. Relax the shoulders and breathe. Take that, I'm gonna turn my fan on. Woo! The humidity's terrible. Okay, warrior two. Sink the hips if you want more. Make sure that knee comes back towards the baby toe. Left palm spins up, tilt back, peaceful warrior. Maybe shoot that right arm towards the back. If you'd like, or just wrap it at the low back for a half bind. Inhale, coming back to warrior two. Prop the left elbow, right arm comes over the ear, reach. Your left butt cheek is right under you. And then maybe extend the left arm out. Spin the belly up towards the sky. Take the left fingertips down next to the arch. Right arm over the ear, breathe. Now take the right hand next to the arm, left arm, le next to the arch, left arm goes up in a twist. Lift the right arm as you gaze at the left arm, revolved warrior two. Windmill the arms up and back, back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Preparation for triangle. Make sure you're not too far apart. I feel like I am. I'm gonna walk my back foot in a little bit. 
Press down through the feet. Reach it forward. Inhale. Exhale. Float that left hand down. Right arm straight up and down. And then over your ear and reach. Bring the left butt cheek under you. Breathe. Maybe float the left arm up. Inhale, coming up slow. Exhale. Beautiful. Warrior two. Creep the back foot in a bit. Right hands on the hip. Preparation for half moon. Fingertips about six inches or so from the baby toe. I like to steeple my fingers. It gives me more room. I'm flexing my foot towards the right, floating my right arm up. Hold. And then you can do whatever you'd like. You can stay here, or you can try sweet posts off in the supporting leg first. Bend that back leg and open. I can open a little bit more here. I'm grabbing my instep. Beautiful. Back to warrior two, safely, slowly exhale. Downward facing dog, please. Relax the head down. Now take the left hand across your body and grab your upper or lower right leg and turn and look under your right armpit. Make sure that right fingers are really spread out on that right hand. Good. Now, left hand's on the hip. We're going to shift to a one-arm plank. Cross the legs. Hands a little bit out from the shoulder. Lift the left arm up. Lift your hips. Hold. Now, I want you to make sure the left foot is flat. And see if you can reach under and grab your right big toe. Hold. Now, keep that leg lifted, hold it, hold it, hold, let it go, kick it forward a little bit, lift your hips for fallen triangle. Good. Now we're going to come back to down dog. Spread the fingers out on the left hand and see if you can take the right arm across and grab your upper or lower left leg. Turn and look under your left armpit. Right hands on the hip. You're going to shift forward, cross the legs, lift the hips, float the right arm up, hold it. So you want to take pressure off of that left wrist. Really lift up. The top foot is flat. Reach under and grab your left big toe this time. Let go and hold. Squeeze that core in. Kick that leg forward. Lift the hips. Good. And come back. Down dog. Yep. Relax the head down. Soften the knees. Gaze forward. On the exhale, walk or spring lightly to your hands. Relax the head down. Root down through the feet and rise. On the exhale, bring the hands together at your hearts. Beautiful. Inhale, take the arms up. We're going to go into arrow pose. But first, come up on the toes. Steeple the fingers. Squeeze the legs together like you've got one big fat leg. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist right. Come back. And twist left. And come back. Yes. Beautiful. Hold it here. Hold. And now let's go into arrow. Coming down slow. Coming down only 
as far as your body says it's okay. If you can come all the way down and sit on your heels, great. If you can't, great. Just stop. Hold here. And let's do a little toe opener. See if we can bring the, the knees down. That's Emily and Sadie. Okay, get your booty out of the camera. Okay, and let's see if we can come back. Come back. Okay, um, let's, uh, let's try crow. Now, you don't have to do this in crow. You don't have to do crow. It's an arm balance. If, if you're, you know, if that's in your practice, go for it. If it's not, we're in a good position for this. So spread the fingers out. This is the roots of your pose. So if you're like this, you're not going to get as much of a good foundation as if you spread your fingers wide. So your hands are about shoulder width, okay? Now, if you need to go onto your mat because you need a crash pad, do it. Okay, I'm just on the floor here. Now, one of the things people will do when they first try this is they're letting their head go down. And I'm gonna tell you, if you do that, that's where you're going and it's not gonna feel good. You've gotta shift forward, keep the head where you're looking out. Not so much forward, but out in front of you a little bit. You gotta keep the eyes up, the head up a little. And you've gotta shift forward a little bit and you've gotta squeeze your core in. If you're not, if you don't squeeze your core in, you're gonna fall or you're not gonna fly. So then you bend the elbows and get your triceps up, I mean your, your knees up as high up your triceps as you can. And see I'm shifting forward and I can float one toe up first and I'm like, okay, that feels pretty good. And then see how my head's up and then maybe the other toe will float up. And then maybe I'll find a sweet spot and float. Squeeze the toes together. It's hard for me to talk and do this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you did it, great. If you tried it and you didn't do it, great. If you didn't try it because you're not going to do it today, great. <laughs> All right. We'll come back. Exhale. Bow to standing forward fold. Root down through the feet. We're going to rise here. On the exhale, bring the hands together at your heart. Inhale, the arms go up. On the exhale, we're gonna go right into chair, Utkatasana. Make sure knee, knees, ankles, toes together. Sitting back on your heels. And you'll see a lot of this, and I don't know, that might be a different um, way people teach it. I like to teach it with a straightish back. It's easier if you open your, Cactus your arms, it's easier. But you wanna shift more on your heels. And then take the hands, clasp them at the low back, and bow. Relax the head down. Hands to the floor. Inhale, come into a halfway lift, draw the shoulders back. On the exhale, top of a push-up, hands right under the shoulders. Inhale, float forward. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Yep. All right, toes and heels go together. Right leg lifts. Roll the ankle. Spread the toes. Belly buttons in. Roll the right pelvis open. Lift your knee. Flex your foot. Look under your left armpit. Hold it. Good. Now, get your right leg parallel to the floor and take the right leg straight out to the, to the side. And let's go into running man prep. Take the right foot, I mean the right knee on the outside of the right wrist. Two more. Good. Now hold it. Now if you guys want to practice running man, it's another arm balance. I'm not really good on this side, but I'll show you how to do it. So your hands are under your shoulders. You bend your left elbow, and I lean on my left 
upper arm, and I lay my head down. You can lay your head down. And then try to float the back leg up. Pull the belly in tight. I'm better on the other side. Or you can just stay here and pretend. Yeah, now, take the right leg up to the sky. Right foot on the outside of the right hand. About, toes are turned to about two o'clock. Right arm goes up. And maybe goes back, roll that chest open. And then take the right arm over the ear, like spin open, spin the belly up towards the sky. Good. Now, take the back foot towards the midline of your mat and roll onto the edge of both feet. Lower your hips and then lift your hips. Lower and lift. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Good. Hold it. Good. Now, see if you can walk your right foot over about an inch or so. Push through the push through the uh, push through the floor with your left hand and see if you can lift the right leg up. Hold it. Hold. Good. Now bring it back. Both hands on the floor. Sink your hips. Good. Now, come back into a lunge and bring that right foot where it's right under your ankle. Sink the hips. Gaze forward. And then on the exhale, straighten the front leg. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, forward. Exhale. Inhale. Now hold it at the top here. Relax the head down. So we're in extended pyramid pose. Spin the inner thighs towards each other and see if you can bring the right arm up in a twist. And then bend the front knee, stay twisted here. Now, spin the inner thighs towards each other, lift the left arm up as you gaze at the right arm. Back leg is nice and strong. Lift that kneecap up. Now, if you're tired, the back leg comes down. Spin the left palm up, tilt back, grab your back thigh. And then left tricep to the right thigh and prayer lunge. Push with your hands, spin the belly up towards the sky. Back leg is strong, lift that kneecap up. Now, I want you to shift your gaze more forward and on the floor and see if you can shift forward, float the back leg in the air. Flex your foot downward, hold it. And then take your left hand down about six inches from your big toe, right big toe. Straighten that supporting leg and you're twisting to the right. Revolve half moon. And then we'll bring the, the back leg back down and we're going to rise here. Crescent lunge, front knees right over the ankle. Hug the inner thighs towards each other, open the chest, gaze up here. Good. Now come forward and take that left leg forward here. Standing staff, hold. Maybe straighten the leg, hold it. 
maybe lift it a little bit higher. Now, we're gonna do this, I'm gonna show you two ways to do this, bend that leg again. You can take your right hand on the outside of your left knee, left arm goes back and turn and look towards your left hand or see if you can extend the right leg, grab the outside of your foot and twist to the left. Good, and then let's come forward, woo! And back to lunge, crescent lunge, exhale, down dog. Inhale, come forward to plank, shift forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, draw the shoulders back, exhale, down dog. Toes and heels together, left leg lifts, roll the ankle, spread the toes, belly in, Roll open that left pelvis. Look under your right pit. Squeeze the belly. And then get that left leg straight out behind you, parallel to the floor. Take it straight out to the side. And then running man prep for five. Now, let's try running man the other side. You're gonna lean on your right upper arm. Shift forward, float that leg up, maybe. You gotta use your core, and you never know till you try. Left leg goes up. Left foot outside, left hand. Angle it to two o'clock. Left arm goes up and straight back. Good. Now take that arm over the ear, reach. Left arm straight up. Take the back foot towards the midline of your mat. Roll onto the edge of both feet, lower the hips, fallen warrior, and then lift. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, good, lower. Now, float the left arm up, walk that foot over about an inch, see if you can lift it off the floor, hold it. And then we'll come into, back into a runner's lunge, sink the hips. Straighten the front leg a little bit. Inhale, come forward, bend the leg. Exhale, straighten. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hold it here, hold it. Relax the head down. Spin the inner thighs towards each other. Left arm goes up in a twist, please. Bend that front leg, keep the twist. Back leg should be strong or bring it to the floor. You wanna lift that back kneecap up. Hug towards the midline, lift the right arm up as you gaze at the left arm. Somebody told me this was like the Eisenman trophy. We should call it that. Spin the right palm up, tilt back, grab your back thigh, or maybe it's more like this. Prayer. Right tricep, left thigh, hands together. Push with your hands, spin the belly up towards the sky, breathe. Back leg, you lift that kneecap up. Now look at the floor, shift forward, float the back leg up. Yeah, let's see how that goes. I would look at the floor, strongly urge that. Right fingertips down, left arm goes up, revolve, half moon, hold. We're almost done, guys. Now, from here, rise. Bring that leg with you, rise. 
hold it. Staff. Maybe straighten the leg. You can keep it bent. It's fine. Lift that leg. Hold. Now bend the leg and you can bring the arm across that way or grab your outside of your foot and twist and look over your right shoulder. Good. Let go. Hold. And we'll go right back to lunge, crescent lunge. Hold it here. Hold it. Hug the legs in. Cactus the arms open the chest. <sighs> On the exhale, down dog. Press the thigh bones back. Now let's work the hips really fast. So take, you're going to gaze forward. Take the right foot on the outside of the right hand. Left foot, outside left hand. And sit. For a yoga squat, malasana. Now, not everybody can get their heels down. You might be more doing it like this. It's okay. Hold it. Maybe take the right arm up. And then switch maybe the left. Good. Come back. Hands on the floor. I want you to take the left leg straight back. Keep it up. Now you can bring the back knee down if you need to, but keep it up. And come onto your elbows and let that right uh, foot just roll open. You're on the edge of your foot. Now if this front heel is in the air, walk your foot more forward to get the heel down. Let that leg flare open. And you can let the back knee rest or let it hover and quiver. It's up to you. Now we're gonna do something a little bit similar to what we did a while ago, the Fallen Warrior, but we're on our elbows. Hop the back foot towards the midline of your mat. You're on your left elbow. Ro roll onto the edge of the back foot as the right arm goes up. And lift the hips. And then lower them, hold. And then lift again. And come back. And let's come to the hands and come back to the yoga squats. Left arm goes up. And then, yeah, let's take that right leg back. Let that leg open. Make sure the heel's down. I see a lot of people and they've got their foot pulled back too much and their heel is up. So you need to bring it forward and roll it, leg open. We're trying to open up the outer hip. called dragon pose. Now hop your foot towards the midline of your mat on your right elbow. Roll onto the edge of the back foot. Lift the hips and lower. Lift, lower, lift, lower. One more. Lift. Good. Now we're going to come back to the squat. Yeah. And then go ahead and have a seat. Ah, okay. Almost there. So grab your big toes. Take your feet, peace sign fingers and grab your big toes. Now you can keep the legs bent or see if you can straighten them. And then maybe open them. Draw the shoulders back and press your chest forward like you're trying to press the back part of your body to the front part of your body. And maybe you could let go. Maybe. Hold. And then close. Here we go. This is boat pose. Good. And then let's try, let's try um, low boat or canoe. And then come back up, exhale, good. Low boat, inhale, exhale, low boat, 
high boat, low, high, low. Hold this low, hold it. Now what I want you to do, listen to what I'm saying. Bring your elbows behind you and drop your feet down. Stay up, we're not ready yet. I want you to sit on your hands. Now we're gonna go into fish pose. I'm gonna turn so you can see me better. Now in fish pose, you want your, well, the weight of your body is on your elbows and not your neck. And this is one of those poses where you don't wanna snap release out of. You wanna come out nice and mindful. But come out, when you come out, just go down to the floor. Don't snap your neck up. So you're on your, you're sitting on your, your, your hands, <laughs> you're sitting on your feet. <laughs> Spin the inner thighs towards each other. And on this, you can point your toes. Normally, you don't point your toes in yoga, but you can on this one. And you're on your elbows, right? So do that first. You're on your elbows. And then draw your shoulders back. Lift the heart up. Now, some people can't let their head go back too far, and that's okay. Just relax it. Keep the head lift, I mean, keep the chest lifted. If you can touch your head back there, great, on the floor. If you can't, great. But keep lifting the heart up towards the sky. Spin the inner thighs towards each other. Fish pose. It's a nice little heart opener and it also gets the, um, the throat open. Um, good for the thyroid. Uh, the throat chakra. And then I just want you to just lower down to the floor. And then pull the knees into the chest. How you guys doing? Now, uh, take the right leg. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, right leg comes and cross it over the left, please. Arms are at your side. I want you to slide your hips a little to the right. And let the legs go to the left. And you're going to turn and look to your right. That feels good on this cold floor. Now keep your legs crossed and bring them up and over to the other side. And turn and gaze the other way. And come back, we're gonna switch. So cross the right leg over the left. Slide the hips to the left, let the legs go to the right. You're gonna gaze to the left, please. Keep your legs crossed, go the other way, and turn the other way. It is muggy. I got my sweat on. That's good though, we're detoxing. <laughs> all right, now come back, and this is the best part. So we did all this stuff for this part here. Um, Shavasana, or reclining butterfly, so Shavasana which way I need to turn. So Shavasana, you're just laying here and you let the feet drop open. And then your arms are at your side and roll the thumbs back, palms are up. That's gonna help your shoulders roll back so they relax more. Or you can do reclining butterfly. And I want you to take a nice deep breath in through your nose. And on the exhale, sigh it out through your mouth. <sighs> and again, deep breath in. <sighs> now keep that breath flowing through your nose. And relax your face. Make sure your teeth aren't touching. And if you rest your tongue on the back of your top teeth, that helps your neck relax more. So I want you to practice taking twice as long to exhale, like a really slow exhale. Really letting the 
the belly rise on the inhale. If you don't learn anything in yoga but one thing, learn how to breathe right. We should be breathing with our belly, not just the chest. restorative yoga teacher. Her name was her name is Judith Lassiter. And she says that everyone needs 20 minutes of Shavasana every day. And you don't have to do yoga to do this. And this is different than sleeping. It's just allowing the body to rest. stay right here as long as you like and just take this time to relax maybe this is the only time you have hopefully you're getting more rest <laughs> nowadays and wiggle your fingers and toes letting the head fall side to side and stretch the arms out over the head Point and flex the feet a few times. And you'll pull the knees into your chest and over on your right side and make a pillow with your arm. And we'll come up slowly to a seated position. Just for a few breaths here. Just focusing on the breath. And we'll take a nice deep breath in here. And on the exhale, the hands come to the heart. Namaste. Thank you guys. This was really awesome and my dogs were really good. I'm very happy with them right now. They're sleepy and I'm trying to find my Where's mommy's glasses? All right, I was gonna, I was gonna look, read my, oh, there they are. <laughs> the dogs are sleeping. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Hey, Jay. Hey, Ron. I'll see you guys later, okay? <laughs> Y'all wanna see my little helpers? Let me see. There's Sadie. She was a good girl. And then Emily's over there. She, um, she's, she's also practicing, uh, Shavasana. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Bye.